Okay, here we are in the second of the series on YouTube TV. Today I'm going to introduce you to the library function. Okay, let me bring up my browser, just my Chrome browser. And this comes up right now, as you can see, in a windowed mode. The browser's in a window, as opposed to being here, which is full screen. As I showed you in the last video, you can also just double click on any blank part of the bar. So I double click here, I get the same thing. Double click again, I'm back. Okay, so um, today I'm gonna to introduce you to this, the library part of your, your YouTube TV experience. Yesterday we went over some of the general interface functions. You're gonna notice in the last one, we're gonna introduce you here, how to play movies and how to record movies and things like that. Today it's just about the library. Your library is, consider it your stack of uh, DVDs or VHS tapes. It's a place to store your videos. It's a place where YouTube stores your videos. So your recording videos, your recorded videos are all gonna be in the library somewhere. So let's click over there and see what we got. Okay, first thing that comes up is new in your library. These are the new things that have just recently recorded. So obviously this is the most recent. This is News 8 Extra Morning. This is gonna be the second most. So this was recorded previous to this and so on. So I can kind of see the last five things that have been added, I guess six things, sorry, six things that have been added to my library. If I click on any one of them, it's not gonna start playing the video. So if I click here, you don't see the video. There's no video playing. This is News 8 Extra's uh, dialog box. So over here, you can see a little bit of information about it. You can see when the next new episode is coming up. If I scroll down, here's where my recent episodes are. So you can see it's got the last week of episodes recorded here, 15th. It doesn't play on the 16th and 17th because those were weekend days, but then I record it again on Monday the 18th, the 19th, 2021. If I click on any of these, it's going to play that particular show up here in my accuracy, window. Accuracy, accuracy. I can pause it, I can watch it, I can start it, I can move around since this is a recorded show. If I want to move ahead to this part or this part, I can I can move around in it. All right, I can pause it and then I'm going to use my wheel, my mouse wheel to scroll down and we're back down to where we were. We're back down to the library. Okay, the same is gonna be true of every other one here. You're not gonna to go to the video. You're gonna to go to that page's dialog box. So if I click here, I go to the Morning Joe dialog box. I can see some information about it that it was recorded from 2007 to the present. That's been going quite a while. The next new recording will be Friday, March 22nd. Tells me a little bit about the show here. You know, if I want to see, you know, any information, here's about the hosts and so on. I can see all of that. Now, the shows start down below as before. You're going to see that it recorded on the 15th, the 18th, 19th, and so on. Some of them are recorded twice in a day. If they had two shows in a day, it's going to record twice in a day. And I can always go back to any of these shows and watch them. If I want to go back to this one and watch it, just simply click on it. It's going to appear in my window. And once again, bounce around. It's yeah, just a recording, so you can go to any section of it. I can pause it, and I can go, you know, go back. Okay, so that's new in your library. Next is the most watched. Um, I don't find this very, very accurate. Maybe it's because it's new, um, but it says most watched. The San Diego Padres. Next is Anderson Cooper. Next, maybe it's just because I haven't watched much. It's simply waiting till it's got enough data to really tell what I'm watching consistently. This might be handy uh, for people that want to see, you know, what they see the most. And again, you can scroll over uh, and look at the other things that are low. So apparently, you know, I'm watching some baseball and news. And then uh, lastly, some zoo and uh, nature programs. All right, down to scheduled recordings. This is showing me what's upcoming. It's showing me the games that are, or in this case, the games, but or the shows that are coming up. So today at 11 o'clock, it's going to record Milwaukee Brewers at San Diego Padres. That's upcoming. If I click on it, it's not going to play anything. It's going to go to 
the dialog box about the Padres. I can see a little bit about the Padres, a little bit about the game. I can see their their schedule, I mean their, their rankings, which are zeros because of course it hasn't started yet. It'll start in one week from today. Uh, similar, you know, just same, same kind of things. So I can look at the matchup, um, see a little bit about the teams and so on. It depends on the event. It depends on the shows, what you're gonna see here. Sometimes you're gonna see episodes, if it's a series, things like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna hit this X right here to close this dialogue down. Let's look at another show. For instance, let's look at the BBC World News. So if I click on that, same thing, I'm getting the World News dialog box. I can find out some information about it. I can see similar shows uh, to the World News. And I can go down here and see my shows. And if I want to watch one of them, once again, I just click on it. I can see the show. I can bounce ahead to different segments and, and so on. And just just like everything news. else. Okay, I'm going to pause that, scroll back down. Okay, last on this list is, by list I mean you've got you've got new in your library, you've got most watched, you've got scheduled recordings, last is recordings. This is where they store what they've already recorded for you. And by that I mean if you've set up any show to record, I showed that in the first video, how to set up a recording, but if you've set up any video to record, it's going to keep on recording and it's going to keep those shows for six months. Pretty amazing. You've got all of your shows for six months. So if it's a daily show, let's say it's five days a week, you're going to have five days a week of recordings for six months. Um, I'll show you a little bit. So this is telling me, um, this is sorted by the most recent. So this is the most recent one they recorded, CBS This Morning. I click on that. Once again, I go to their dialog box. I can see a little bit about the about the show. You know, over here, you can see the kind of things that you might care about the show. You can see it's a talk show and a news show. These are the tags that it has and similar shows. So, Sunday morning, uh, so on. And here's the shows, just, just like before, just like in the other windows. We're able to go out there and play them and uh, all the functionality of a typical browser. I can move ahead 15 seconds. I, I, can, I can mute it. I can go to the end of it and so on. So it's just like all the other areas. It's let me Wednesday, go down March there and, and the talk is live. let me go down there Today's and the pause day. that sound. Okay, so that's basically your the section uh, that's called recordings. And I've got 19 recordings, but let me go over quickly this over here. So what this is doing is it's telling me that it's showing all of my videos. Now I have 19, so that's not a big deal. But what if I had 100? Sorting through them is going to be a mess, trying to find a show I want to watch. But I can go over here and I can filter based on these uh, one, two, three, four, five things. So there's going to be all. This is everything. There's going to be shows. This is everything that's in a series. So in other words, weekly, daily, monthly, whatever. If there's a, if there's a show that's on a regular basis, not a one time off like a movie or something, but on a regular basis, it's going to pop up here. And the same thing. I can click on it to go to the dialog box. I can go down and watch the shows. Many, many different ways to do the same thing, by the way. Okay, I can go over here to movies and sort by my recorded movies. Let's see what I've got. Oop. So I don't have any movies. I haven't, I haven't recorded any movies. I haven't set up to record or record any movies. Sports, if I click on that, I've got set up to record and or recordings of the San Diego Padres. And once again, if I click on it, I'm gonna see all of the games that I've got recorded. By the way, um, when you're looking at this window, this this dialog box, it's going to be for every video, you, every group of videos you have. If it's grayed out, they're telling you you've watched it. What I found is this doesn't necessarily mean you've watched the whole thing. It means they've determined you've watched some portion of it. Whatever portion that is to determine watched, I don't know, but it means you've watched some portion. And I can continue watching. Just click here, just like before, and we're going to get out there and we're going to watch some of this game. I can bounce ahead and so forth. So this, this is a recorded game that I can go back and watch. Um, okay, that's under sports. By the way, U.S. Open, we all know that that hasn't started yet. I think that's in August, but if I click on it, there's a few things here. But what I want you to see here 
Uh, first of all, it's set up to record. Whenever it comes on, it's going to record for me. If I click this, you can see it says click to stop recording. If I click that, it will not record the US Open when it comes on, but I want to record it. I don't care. It's, you know, months off. It doesn't matter. When it comes on, it will record for me. Um, if I scroll down, there is already stuff. And even though the US Open hasn't come on, because what it is, is these are the things that it's found that are related to the US Open on YouTube. Keep in mind, that's YouTube, not YouTube TV. So these are all going to be played in a YouTube, from YouTube window, not YouTube TV. So let's say I wanted to watch, I don't want to watch, <laughs> I don't want to watch Serena getting angry at people. Um, here is Naomi, Naomi Osaka. This is her interview after she just defeated Serena in last year's Grand Slam. So if I click on that, I can watch that. Even though this is coming from YouTube, I'm watching it in my YouTube TV window. Now this is new. Uh, up until a couple days ago, if you clicked on anything that said from YouTube, it would actually change your browser over to YouTube. But now it's actually playing it in the YouTube TV window, which is really nice. You don't have to leave the YouTube TV window for anything, apparently. OK, so here I am in um, watching watching the, the, the YouTube video in the YouTube video window. That's again, that's off of this. And it was one of these. It's this one right here is what we're watching right now. So they do have some content for it. But once again, when I want to get rid of the dialog box, I click the X up here. And now I'm back to my recordings. These are sports recordings. The last one here is events. I'm going to click on events. Now these are my events recording. And you notice they, t they classify World Surf League season preview as an event. So when that comes up, and apparently it's coming up on Saturday, March 23rd at 9.30 a.m. If you guys set your <laughs> set your recordings before then, it will automatically record it for you. And then here's some others I've got. Okay, last thing I'll show you here is if I go back to all. So I've got all 19 videos. This is a bit of a random bunch. This is showing me the last one recorded and the one before that. This might not be the way I want to view this. So up here under sort, I can go up here and I can click and I can go to say the most popular out of the recordings that I've got here which are considered the most popular so if I click on that oh interesting morning Joe is considered the most popular of this group of things and not most popular for me it's the most popular based on the millions and millions of people that YouTube has it's uh, morning Joe is I guess the most popular show I've got uh, next is uh, CBS this morning uh, 60 minutes Anderson Cooper Pottery so on this isn't a very useful window to me I don't really care you know what's the most popular to other folks but um, they do have that option. I can also click that. By the way, I'm clicking the Chevron. If you look, I'm clicking the little Chevron right next to it. And I can now go down and sort it A to Z. This might be my go-to sorting because it's it's pretty handy. If you've got a lot of videos, this sorts by alphabetically. Of course, 60 minutes is first because numerals always come before, before the alphabet. So there's my 60 minutes, America, Anderson, now this is interesting. Oh, because BBC. Even though it says World News America here, it's actually titled BBC World News. Here's CBS. Here's Get Wild at the San Diego Zoo, and so on. So this is this is maybe where I like it. Sorting it A to Z, and that should stick. In other words, next time I come here, it should be sorting A to Z. It should remember that setting. Okay, that's it for um, for library. But I want to show you one more feature that I think is sort of well, it's not really really related to library, but um, I was going to do a separate video on it, but it's pretty short what you can do there. So I'll show it to you now. And that is basically this button way over here. You've got a search button like in everything else on the Internet. That little magnifying glass uh, indicates a search function. I click on that. And by the way, <clears throat> you notice in YouTube TV when there's a red line under something, like if I click here, there's a red line there. That means I'm in the library. I click here. That means I'm at home. This is my home stuff. Um, if I click here, I'm in live television. I'm seeing what's on live right now. Bunch of junk, basically. Uh, you know, daytime television. Anyway, over here, I'm in search. And you'll notice the red line is there. I'm in search. 
Um, search is a different beast altogether. What it's doing is it's trying to tell me certain stuff. First, I'll go down and I'll show you guys. You can sort based on networks. So if I wanted to sort for everything ABC, AMC, BBC America, BNT, CBS, whatever, uh, and you can scroll over and you can see all the different networks they have. So they've got the golf channel. Somewhere they've got the tennis channel. Here's MLB, Major League Baseball. Uh, tennis channel right here. So anyway, you can go through and you can sort, you can find, I'm searching, I can search for all the things related to the tennis channel. We'll go back up to that in a minute. But you can also go down here and they see these are trending. Um, these are the things that they think you might want to see based on what the world's watching. So it looks like they got some kind of a SmackDown, whatever that is, uh, WWE, I'm not sure. Uh, all these other things here, and you can scroll over and see the trending things. These are the things that are trending on the internet. You can go down and see the popular. Sports Center is popular, American Idol, Big Bang, there you go. Uh, down here, you've got the league sorted, so you've got uh, different leagues, NBA, NHL, uh, NBL, golf, probably tennis over here somewhere, League of Champions, whatever that is, uh, basketball, so on. So you've got all of your different uh, leagues. Down here is your political news. Again, we're in the search, so it's showing us what they found under political news. Peabody Award winners. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a whole section on just the Peabody Award winners. 60 Minutes, 2020, Dateline, uh, Parks and Recreation, House, and so on. Those are shows that they that have won the Peabody Award. Here's sitcoms for what they're worth. MASH is in there. Everybody's favorite show. Um, <laughs> uh, reality TV shows, crime dramas, and so on. And I guess... Daytime Emmy Award winners is the last one here. The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, Days of Our Lives in General Hospital. <laughs> Interestingly, these are all shows that have been around since I was a kid, uh, I think. It's, I've never watched one of them, but I I know those names. from. Let's just take a look. I'm going to go to Days of Our Lives just to see. Again, I'm popping up in their dialogue. 1965 to present. <laughs> it's been around a while. Okay, close that down. All right, so I'm going to go back up to the top. Okay, uh, not all the way to the top, but right up to the search. Okay, so now I it's it's showing me I can either click in here and search, or I can click on one of these things. I can browse all sports shows, all shows, all movies, all news, all family. So let's say I wanted to search for all movies. Click on that. Now these should be all of the what's determined to be movies according to YouTube. So here's a Zero Dark Thirty, Charlie's Angels, uh, Angels and Demons, Rocky. These are on live, by the way. So you could record them right now, and uh, you would have those shows in your library forevermore if you wanted to have Angels and Demons there, which is an uh, interesting movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, it's a good movie. Um, but anyway, those are, those are what's on now. Next is Picked for You. This will get better and better over time. Right now, they have no idea what I like. I'm new to YouTube TV. So they think I'm going to like uh, X-Men Apocalypse, so Why Him, Free Solo, uh, Mocking J Part 2, Magnificent Seven, and so on. I can pick those if I want. Those are picked for me. Uh, I can scroll over and see what else they pick for me. Hmm. Hanks and the Hologram King. I've never even heard of it. A Hologram for the King. All right, whatever. So there's a bunch of stuff there, uh, and then I can go down to adventure movies. These are all the movies that are tagged as adventure movies. Fantasy movies, everything tagged as fantasy. Sci-fi action, action thriller, action dramas, romance, romantic dramas, <laughs> spy movies, biographical movies. So these are all the bio. Here's Sully, the guy that landed on the Hudson. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. I guess these are all biographies of different folks. Here's your westerns. If I want to watch Django or The Reverend. Uh, actually, interesting because both of these movies had uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in it, but those are both um, interesting movies. Um, you can click on that and set it up to record. Um, here's all. So now, now you got all of them. So that's going to go on forever. Um, these are all the movies they have. Now, once again, 
I can sort things here. So right here, it's sorted by most popular. Gladiator is the most popular. Rocky IV is next. Zero Dark Thirty, so on. I can go back over here to the sort, and I can say, no, I want to see this by, by alphabetical. So I can find where things are. So I can go A to Z. It's going to sort all the movies they've got A to Z. Numbers first, as we, as we saw. And then somewhere in here, we'll start. Again, don't look at this, because this looks like the movie title is Unicorn Island, but it's actually a trip to Unicorn Island, so the A comes in. So if you're looking for a movie and you know the name, this is where you're going to look. Let's see. Huh? Quite a few movies there. By the way, if you see this spinning, it means more are coming. So you can scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to scroll really quick. Now it's getting more. You see that red button? It says I'm getting more. So there's tons of movies there. Uh, all of these movies are set to go. So if I wanted to watch Clint Eastwood and the Pale Rider, click on that. Here it is here. Here's your little little dialogue box as we've seen before. And he, Oh, okay. So I was wrong. It doesn't mean you can automatically watch these. It means that this is available for you to record. So you do that. By the way, the next showing of this is going to be on the AMC. You don't care about that necessarily. It doesn't matter where it's playing. You're just going to, it's going to be on the AMC. It's going to be on Saturday, March 30th. So this Saturday, that's coming up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click this plus. What that does is it's going to start recording. It's not going to start recording it now. It's going to re start recording it It's on Saturday because it's not playing now. So if I click this, that has just been added to my library, and I'll show you that in a minute. But if you, if you notice, if I click it, it's not going to play it because it's not there yet. It's still waiting for that Saturday, March 30th, to record. So you do yourself a favor by going ahead, looking at all the movies, picking some and recording them because you're not going to be able to play them immediately. You're going to have to wait. You're going to have to record, set them to record and then go out and wait for the next recording of that movie. So if you want to see The Pale Rider, set it up now. Next Saturday, you'll be able to watch Anytime after next Saturday for six months, you'll be able to watch it. And again, as always, here's the similar shows. They think these are similar to Pale Rider for some reason. This one because it has Clint Eastwood, obviously. This one because Clint's in it. This one because Clint's in it. Clint's not in here, so I don't know why that was picked as similar to, but maybe because he has a gun and the guy up here has a gun. I don't know. Here's another guy with a gun, and this is obviously not Clint Eastwood and Bandolero, um, so on. But anyway, so if you like this movie, you might very well like this movie. So I'm going to click on that, go to that, and there it is. It's going to record Saturday again, March 30th at 5 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and set that. I'm going to go ahead and now it's going to be there. And I'll show you what I mean by be there in just a minute. Okay, so we've pretty much gone over the functions here. And so, oh, one last function I want to show you. So, so far what we've done is we've just simply gone down here and we've clicked on, you know, something that was already there. But what if there's something that's not there that we want to see if we can find? Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go here. I'm going to close out searching for movies. And it says search. So I'm going to search for something that I know is not available, or I assume is not available. So I'm going to search for like Endless Summer. Okay, so I've searched for Endless Summer. Here's the only choice it has. I'm going to click on that. Now it says Endless Summer doesn't match any programs on YouTube TV. So, so it's not available on, on YouTube TV for me to record or to watch. But it says from YouTube, once again, YouTube, not YouTube TV. So it says there's some folks out here that for some reason or other have titled their video Endless Summer. It doesn't mean it has anything to do with a good old Endless Summer movie. It has to do with what somebody's titled. It. They've titled it True Colors Endless Summer, If Life is So Short Endless Summer, Endless Summer Episode 1, whatever. So these are some other things that are related to it. If you click on one of these shows, like let's say I click on this, Stand By Me, good song, um, live at Lake Powell in Arizona. So I'm going to click on that. So you notice what it did right now. I want you to stop and take a look at what it did. I was in YouTube TV. I clicked on here. Now look, it opened up another window. 
This might not matter to you, but to me it does because it could confuse folks. Now you're over here in YouTube. And now you're wondering where your shows are, where your library is. Well, you just simply close this down and now you're back in your YouTube TV. It literally takes you to a new browser tab and shows you that. So here is Endless Summer according to One, two, these guys. Three, four. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon wow. so these folks have the 10 million views it's good they do a very very good job of this of this cover so i'm going to be interested to follow these guys pretty pretty darn good um so anyway 10 million people have watched that well wow. nice background uh, good voices. I'll play that through in a minute. But right now, I'm going to switch back to YouTube TV to wrap this up. So that's how you find something in search. You can type the name. You can go down and look for it. When you're done, if I'm done looking for Endless Summer, I can close this little X, clear that, and I'm back here to looking for things, you know, the old-fashioned way, just scrolling along and hoping to find something. Click on BBC World News or BBC America, whatever, CB. Anyway, okay, so that's been an introduction to the library and the search function of YouTube TV. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next clip.